So Archbishop, we're so grateful that you joined us for this, this little chat. And we just wanted to talk with you a little bit about what you kind of see as the landscape in the United States concerning the Synod and the Encuentro and, and what we can do better um, to share with our members and both other people that weren't able to be with us. So what do you think, what do, what's your perception of um, how the United States is challenged by the Synod? Like, what are we facing? Uh, what could we be doing better? What, what do you think some of those challenges are? Well, maybe it's, it would be good to ask why the Holy Father asked for, for a synod of young people. You know, he had many subjects and he chose the, uh, how to reach out, you know, the, the young people. So I, th I think because he, uh, he sees an urgency, you know, uh, and uh, it comes from his own personal experience as a pastor, but also his own personal analysis about the situation of the world today. You know, remember, uh, <clears throat> at the, in uh, in first document, uh, Evangelii Gaudium, you know, the, he said that we are living in a, not, uh, the time is changing, you know, the culture is changing, the, the approach about the, the problems of the world is changing. And one of the main consequences of this change of time is the difficulty, you know, to transmit the, the values of, of our cultures, but also our faith. So it affects a lot w what we are supposed to do because the, the, main, uh, the main scope of, of a church is to transmit the faith to the young generations. And this is the work of, of, the, uh, of the parents, it is the work of the professors, the politicians, the priests, and we are all in some way in difficulty. Mm -hmm. And we experience it, you know, it's enough to listen to the parents to know that uh, when their children become, you know, adolescent teenagers, you know, they, they have some difficulty. They said, Papa, uh, you know, you say that to me, but I, I think differently, you know? And at times uh, we are, uh, we, we don't have any answer. And it's good actually not to have any answer. So that uh, the Holy Father said, well, let's call the bishops from all over the world you know, to examine the situations of the young people, but also how to help them to, to discover our faith, you know? And, also, and <clears throat> so this is what, what happened during this. And we have now the final documents, and this document is full of teaching for us. So I think it's, it's very important, especially, you know, we, we talked about it this morning. Those who are uh, in the youth ministry, you know, those, those young young adults like yourselves, you know, who, are, they, who have dedicated their life to, to, to help the young people, you know, to, to, to know about their faith, but also to know about Jesus. So uh, time is changing, you know, we are living in a globalized world, in a fragmented world. Uh, uh, we, we see that, you know, uh, a lot of young people <clears throat> don't see their future, by the way. They live in a present, and even the technology they use, you know, these telephones, the internet, you know, apparently give all answers, but uh, they don't help them to ask questions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you give, a, especially a young man or a young woman or even a child, you give an answer without asking, without helping him or her to, to, to raise the questions, you know, this answer will have no meaning. So you could tell, tell a young man, or, you know, you should believe in Jesus. But they will say, who is Jesus? But, and what is Jesus doing for me? You know? And so you really need to help these, these young people, these, the young people at all levels of their, their growth, you know, to, to ask the fundamental questions. What is the meaning of my life? And you cannot fill his life with answer if he has not asked the question. And the whole purpose of education precisely is that. So uh, I would say uh, even the church today and the society at large, but even the church today, you know, at times does not see that, you know. And even we, the priests, the parents, uh, even the bishops, you know, we, we still think that uh, it's enough to, to teach, uh, to teach catechism, for example, to, to, to a young man or a child, to a young man or a young woman. But uh, the, the Holy Father says, it's, this is not enough. You need first you know, to educate him about the meaning of his life. And a faith which does not reach 
I said that this morning, you know, uh, does not reach the humanity of a person is useless. Mm -hmm. Because you could have, uh, uh, you know, a big theory about, uh, about God, about, but if this theory does not feel the life and, the, and does not change the humanity of the person, then it's, it's useless. And very easily, you know, the young man, the young woman, when he will become, he or she will become an adult, you know, will abandon that because that this is useless. So we really need to have a new approach. And uh, the new approach is precisely, you know, to engage with the, the young people, and this is the purpose of your, your youth ministry, but to engage, uh, in order to engage with them, we need to listen to them. And also to help them to discover what they want. And uh, uh, actually, at times, you know, as they fill their life day and night with their small, you know, small uh, telephone, at times they, they, this, this doesn't give them enough time to ask the, the right questions. So our education, and I speak to the parents, but also to speak to the priest, I speak to, you need to reach out. The, and if, if the young people uh, do not get in the church you know, the right answers, they will go away. Mm -hmm. And this is why the, the Holy Father, uh, because he has seen that, you know, I, can, I can say that, I say that you know, if they don't come to the church, you need to go, go find, them. find them where they are. And, don't, and the parish priest should not remain in his, in his house wait, waiting for, for the phone call or maybe of the young man, he will not see them. And maybe he will not even go to church. Mm -hmm. So we have to find new ways of evangelizing the people. Well, this is up to our imagination and our, our hard work. Mm -hmm. yeah? When I imagine a lot of people that are watching uh, have a desire in their heart to, uh, to, to engage in new ways, to evangelize in new ways, but they don't even know where to begin. Yes, and sometimes that's youth minister, sometimes that's priest. Yes, yes. But you know, where do we even begin? Yes, exactly. I think is, this is, a, and you know, at the end of it, you know, especially when we are confronted with problems, like a sickness, where we, even the death, the suffering, at times, these questions which we maybe have forgotten or abandoned, you know, comes back. And if we have not had a personal experience the, of an encounter with God through Jesus in the church, you know, we, we may be lost because who will give you the answer? So the, I think the Holy Father also, and this appears very clearly, you know, in the final document of this synod, is that the main purpose, the main function of the church is to provide to the people today the possibility to, to make an encounter with Christ. But the encounter with Christ is not possible if it is not through the church. Because, you know, Christ, the Son of God, came among us to, to reveal that God is our Father and to help, and God is love, and to make us experience the love of God. But now, you know, the process of the incarnation of the Son of God is precisely, you know, what, what did Jesus? Jesus, when he came, he called disciples. He said, come with me, follow me. And now you will be the ones who will announce my presence to all generations until now, you know? So, uh, and this is the church. The church is not just an institution, it's not a business. At times, we think that the church is a business, you know? We have to, you know, to, to make it work. Of course, you know, like it is, it is a human institution, but this is not the main aspect of the church. The church is not about money. This, is not, this church is not about organizations. The church is the community of those who have encountered Jesus. And they have been attracted by, by his personality, by his good news, because he speaks about God the Father. And we are so, so fascinated by his presence that we want to, be, to become his witness. Mm -hmm. And this is what Jesus wanted. He wants us to, become, to be his witness and to go out and to announce it. So, you know, <clears throat> the, we need, to, we need mm -hmm. to become a missionary church. Mm -hmm. And the mission will be 
in the family, mainly in the family. The mission will be in the workplace, you know, in the hospital, you know, in a tribunal, in a jail, uh, in, a, in a fabric, you know, where, wherever you have a Christian who is a witness of Jesus, he, he, his, his humanity will be different. And if this humanity has been changed by the presence of Jesus, other people will feel attracted by such a different humanity. You know, a, a person who is open, who is loving like God is loving, you know. And so the mission of the, we, we need to, to promote a missionary church. We, a church cannot be a ghetto, you know. It's not just a meeting of nice people. It's not a club, you know, of, of good friends. It's okay, you know, to have a drink. <laughs> and to, no, it's, it's a community of people who go out because they have a good news to announce to the world. Yeah. It's so inspiring, Archbishop, and we thank you for offering those words and insights to our, our members and to people that might hear that. So, so okay. we'll be praying for you, and, and we hope that you pray for us in this effort. Certainly, certainly. Yeah. No, I, I tell you, I, I'm very happy to, to be with you and uh, to, to feel your enthusiasm, you know. Uh, it's good news. For me, it's good news. You know? uh, uh, for me, the good news is to see that uh, uh, I'm, I'm myself, you know, fascinated by, the, by Jesus. I met him, you know, through the church. But I am so happy to see that I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you are there. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Anna. But I'm sure that, uh, you know, as, uh, you know, uh, the, the new instruments of communication today, you know, the, are also instruments of communication. So I invite all of you, you know, who may read something, you may be, you know, touched by one word or the other, you know, to, to not to keep it up for yourself, you know, to, to communicate, to share it, share it, share it. It's very important, you know. Uh, the church is about sharing the good news. And the world today, you know, needs this good news, you know. We need it badly. Yeah, Amen. it needs to be shared. Thank you yeah. so very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Words. Thank you for Thank your you. wisdom. Thank you.